thank you for waiting. I'm back here in our little cottage with all the trees you can eat. And those of you who didn't see last week or the episodes before that, I'm building something out there, which we shall see in just a moment. Unfortunately, bereft of friends, I'm all on my own. <laughs> so, yeah, so I just need to go and dig up a lot of sand here. And then I'm going to take it out there along with this gravel and... Put it, uh, put it to good use, as you shall see in a minute. So, thank you, Marshmallow. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just thought of... Uh, just thought of... Laura doing... Uh, calling... Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's just... Yeah. Touch too erotic there, my friend. Touch too erotic there. Right, okay, so let's just dig some of this stuff up, you know, sort of turn our back on the cottage and just let the world pass us by and dig some of this stuff up. Because we're going to need stack after stack after stack of this stuff. Uh, I'm very glad I enchanted an efficiency 2 uh, shovel because I didn't have one up till this morning. So... This is going to be very useful, and it's going to be a touch boring, I'm afraid. So we shall just have to try and keep the conversation going. Static past. Hello. That's the sand. Dig the sand up. Dig the sand up. Yeah. Um. Just uh. Did mention to Team Tuxedo that I'd be on here streaming tonight, and if anyone would come along and help me out, they were more than welcome to. Um, it's amazing the number of people that were suddenly washing their hair or had to uh, go and resuscitate their budgie or something like that. Mm. Well, I suppose this is not the most interesting job to do, is it? Oh. No, but it's always good to have <laughs> friends to come and help you out, isn't oh, it? Oh, hello! Hello, Tor! <laughs> How are you doing? Greetings! Hello! Right, grab a shovel, get to work! Rather, tell me <laughs> Right! So let's, uh, uh, we need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of sand. The chat is going wild! <laughs> uh. Well, well, we had to give you some form of suspense, didn't we? we didn't... <laughs> yes, with my really good acting. <laughs> you, we we should have we should have discussed some some time for me to come in though. So I was just like, um, is he going to walk into the house? Uh... And I was sitting there thinking, for crying out loud, will you say something? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's the same time like the first my first ever time on YouTube. Um, Mod did something similar, but he didn't tell me when he wanted me to come out. And so I just kind of sat in there and, and missed what my cue was, because well, he didn't tell me what my cue was going to be. Well, that's because, lovey, we expect you to know these things. Okay, so I, I like, in the pre, in, in, in the other half of the live stream, I slightly hinted at something, didn't I? Um, you did. Yes, uh, I I I I do I play a little thing uh, a little thing called live action role play. I go to the Lorien Trust system, and in that I've recently uh, I died last year, and I, I've just started with a new character. Um, now this character is of a particular race. Uh, oh, before, he... you, before you get into that, why don't you oh, tell oh, us okay. tell us a little about the Lorien Trust? I can do. Uh, yes. Well, why don't uh, you tell us about that torch? I'm yes. I'm sure they're dying to hear the voice, yes. though. But, uh, okay, okay. Um, so. I'm sorry, is this going to be a competition over who has the smoothest <laughs> voice? <laughs> no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dare dream of uh, stealing more fans from you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, spoken like a true YouTuber. That <laughs> ego in action. Anyway, so the Lion Trust is... Is a fantasy-based live-action role-play system. Um, so, if if you've ever heard of things like Dungeons and Dragons, where you've got a bunch of friends with a lot of imagination sitting around a table, 
rolling dice to determine like um, things that characters get up to. Like, say you're trying to attack some kind of orc, so you roll a dice to see if you hit it. Well, live action role play is less, slightly less in the imagination. You still need a bit of imagination for it, but uh, you're actually dressing up and going out there and doing it for real. Um, so there is still a lot of suspension of disbelief needed because, yeah, um, there are things like hobbits, halflings, dwarves, things like that. And, and while, yes, they're supposed to be, like, four foot tall, obviously the players playing them, well... He's, his yeah. name's Colin, he's six foot three, he weighs 18 <laughs> stone. But in character, he, he might be. Um, one, one of, it's set in a world called Adrea, and one of the things we, we, we jokingly said, oh, oh yeah, there's a strange Adrean light that makes, makes like, halflings look six foot tall. Um, <laughs> or, 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 no, 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 that, 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 that dwar dwarves are really dangerous because they're, they're not that tall, they're just really close. You can never tell how close a dwarf is. <laughs> and... and Silly little in jokes like that. Yes, he's not a dwarf. He's deceptively far away. I do. I also quite like the setting of the Lion Trust. Uh, like I said, it's set on Adrea, but Adrea isn't like our world. Like for example, our world is a planet. Adrea isn't. Adrea is an egg. We live on the egg of a cosmic dragon, and that's a lot of fun. Adrea herself is actually the name of the dragon. I've got to be honest with you, if I was ever to think what living on the egg of a cosmic dragon was like, I'd be thinking in the Midlands as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes place in Derby, in a farmer's field, well, private land, uh, called Loco Park, um, which is uh, just outside of Spondon. I think that's a lovely place name, Like, I just like Spondon. <laughs> um, it's... Wow, I'm filling up the sand quicker than I thought. Excellent, excellent, well, because well, we're going to go and use it in just a second. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, did you just remind me of something? Sorry, I'm just going to change oh, well, the subject. It's, for it's, it's your live stream. Okay. Oh, thank you very yeah. much, sir. So very kind of you to say so. Yeah, was, um, we were up, driving up near Liverpool. Um, this was a few years ago. Well, it was quite a few years ago. I was still married. I was driving up there with my wife. And... Um, I was taking, I was teasing her, which is possibly one of the reasons why I was, I'm now divorced. I was teasing her about um, the strange names in Croatia, where she came from, and uh, you know, you know, just saying, you know, yeah, it's, it's, you know, sensible names, proper names we have in this country, not stupid names like you get in Croatia. I don't think I said stupid. I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, but that very second, we drove past a sign that said Plimbo on the left. Plimbo. What a name! What a name! And. I have that since then I've just been I, I've seen seeing silly names wherever I look. A uh, um, colleague of mine, a girl by the name of Jacqueline, um, has a picture on her, her desk that she's a proudly posing by a sign that says Jack's Bush. <laughs> I have no idea why she finds that funny, but she does. Anyway, please do carry on. Well, well, um, as I said. I, 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 got, I got a good idea here, Colonel <laughs> Moustache. Let's go and sleep, shall we? Yes. Um, but... Do people want to... I have got a little bit of a sore throat at the moment, so I won't be able to keep it up. Do, but do people want to hear my beeskin voice as well? I don't know. Do, let's ask the chat. Do people want to hear his beeskin voice? Yeah. Uh, at the moment, everyone's going, Mazumba! I have no idea why. That's, <laughs> That's because you don't watch my dating sims. It's <laughs> basically the best name for a town in the known universe. <laughs> right. Mazumba! Oh, oh, we're starting to get some yeses. They want yeah. to hear Beeskin voice. Uh, how you are for um, gravel nap before you start? Oh, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stacks of sand and six. Okay, there's some stuff in the chest. Do you want to just top up and then we'll head off and start using some of this? Oh, but okay. yes, I would say generally people are saying yes, that's... Uh, um... Um, okay. Well, he talked a bit like this. I don't know if my mic can handle it, but yeah, he was a bee skin. So certain words were hard to pronounce and H's are things that you don't say. And like, he had a bit of a gruff voice to him. But like, 
He was a very friendly beeskin, even if he doesn't sound like, like it by the way he's talking. But yeah. <laughs> well, for what it's worth, I'm from Hampshire, so I don't believe in H's anyway. <laughs> uh, which which got kind of amusing when I was I was my beeskin character because I come home like like back when I was living with my parents. I come home and I start talking to mum. Hello, mum. Like, it's very, I, I... it's very true. It's totally what happens. It's like, um, yeah, a uh, number of times. Yeah, you know, I've been in the the the, the, uh, the other supermarket the day after recording, and I've got to stop myself from saying, "Excuse me, could you tell me the way to the artichokes?" As far as I'm concerned, I don't know. Playing dating, like, or joining in with dating sims, is different to watching them. I suppose maybe I don't know, but also. Uh, like, I I um I work rather on sociable hours, so it might be difficult to get a time when I'm awake that all the others are as well. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I I'm not adverse to such things, but um it might not be logistically feasible. Well, perhaps we should record something together, someone, and see what you think about it. Maybe, and maybe. that's not promising, and I'm not saying I'm going to do it this week, but we'll think about it before the fan. The... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. And, and yes, of course, it'll be for Simon's channel yes. because I'm not stealing his fans. I'd like to make this clear. Yes, <laughs> welcome to the Tort Channel. All Torts, all of the time. The spirit of Gygax is strong in that one. Mm. Actually, that reminds me, someone who asked the chat, and are you two talk, are you all excited about the new Star Wars movie, or do you just don't care anymore? Ooh, controversy. Yes. I, I have certain friends that, that, that proudly proclaim that there are only three Star Wars movies. Um. Well, you, you're, you're actually sharing a, an island of sand with one. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I was at an age when I watched the prequels that I was okay with it. Um, I like the idea of there being more Jedi and whatnot. Um, however, the third one was terrible. Um, oh yeah, yeah no argument there. But but I, I I did enjoy Qui Gon Jinn, and I didn't get too angry about Medichlorians. Yes, they're not particularly necessary or needed. Um, it was a bit better when the Force was more religious and faith based than than scientifically based, but. And I, I could I could live with it, I could live with it. Um, as for the new ones, we'll see. Um, while I haven't read huge amounts of the expanded universe, um, I'm aware of some of the some of the things that have happened. Um, like for example, my my friend in some of the Star Wars D and D we've played in the past uh, has included some expanded universe stuff. Um, but, um, I, I'll, I'll give it a watch and take it on its own merits, but yeah, that, that, oh, I, my geek is showing. I do apologize. Um, yeah. put that away, young man, put that away. Of stuff. Excellent. Go get some more. Uh, do we have more? We have a whole beach of it over there. Ah, right, I see. Mining, mining. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the scary thing here, okay, is that uh, this is just the first layer. There's going to be another layers? two layers on top of this, exactly the same as this one. Oh, dear. And then I think it's going to be at least another 15 layers on top of that of varying sizes. I see. Are, so, are we... Are we so, so are we going to build your entire structure out of sand and then drop it? That is the plan. Okay, so we shall build the whole thing up here, where we don't have to worry about drowning every eight minutes. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, could have been a creeper. Is this going to remove the water all the way down as it goes, or is it just going to remove the bit it sits on? Uh, what it'll do is it will push the water out of the way on the way down, but as it falls underneath it, the water will reform. Ah, right. Oh. Okay, do you want to come sleep? Because our, uh, over here has gotten mm. a little dangerous. Okay, and I seem to be lagging because... Oh, there we go. Right, let's go and do this. Okay, I'm heading back to the Ponderosa. Or the other side of the Ponderosa. Right. 
Oh, there's a ton of gravel in here. <laughs> I looked in the wrong chest. <laughs> you should have looked one with a ton of gravel in. The foolish <laughs> idea. Speed this up a bit. Oh, cheap up. Cheap up. Uh, sorry for the ignorance, but what are you building? Okay, what I am building is a large under underwater um, building, which is going to be made of glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an inside mould of the glass of it above water, above this wood, and I'm going to then set fire to the wood. Okay, and yes, I did say Ponderosa, and the. Uh, All under building, underwater buildings are now illegal. Um, <laughs> okay, right. Well, that's a shame. It's you see, you see, it's actually above water, so it doesn't count. <laughs> For now. <laughs> right. DF won't be happy about that, which is what I'm just typing. Yeah. Uh, well, if you if you're gonna make a rule like that, you're gonna have to put up with DF saying, oh, "I don't like this idea. This is a really stupid idea. I want my underwater home." Oh, have any of you have any of you guys like heard DF? Like, very different voice to me and Simon. Considering he, sa he's not he sounds British. just like that. Yeah, considering he's not British, but I I, I do think he has a marvelous voice. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Me, me, me and, what, Bar, me and what, Mod, that Mod can't use the say command correctly. Me, me and Mod have known each other for probably approaching ten years or more now, and and yes, yes, um, <laughs> he does have a certain sense of humour. That boy. <laughs> I say boy, he's older than me, but that's besides the point. Well, most of us are older than you. Rather, rather than a... Uh... Uh, there's no need to rub it in, mate, okay? okay? The conversation's over. Most of us are older than you, but we don't want to think about it. Oh dear, I've managed to pick up some cobblestone, but the rest of it's gravel. So that's all. Really good. The, the cold isn't going to work quite the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, one should really say lol, as far as I'm concerned. Sign of very poor breeding, don't you know? Oh, rather. I'm not saying this justifies his actions, but I'm saying that it goes a long way to explain why eventually he decided that the best thing for him to do would become the most powerful wizard everywhere and uh, and turn people into mice if they disliked him. And and he also grew a dislike for noses. Um... Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I know this is why he says that, to be honest with you. Uh... Sorry. Actually, I am going to apologise for that one. But, um, if anybody's curious, the current uh, Star Wars game I am playing is actually set like um, in the Old Republic. So, so a good while before the first three movies, well, look, the 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 um, prequel movies. Oh, at least but... nineteen years before them. Yes. Yeah. Um. I can't remember exactly where in the timeline our current game is falling, but it's it. Um, the ST does like to play in that setting because it means you can have lots of Jedi. Hmm. Um, I'm really, really wishing I'd brought some diamonds with me, or found some diamonds the other day as I was caving under here, because this pick, uh, this uh, shovel, is about to wear out. Oh really? You you've been doing a lot of work then. Yes. Is it, didn't, didn't you make that fresh today? I made this one fresh today, and it's got the same enchant as yours has. Indeed. Just indeed. efficiency two, which is all I could get. Yeah, I will say though, on the, on, in my defence, I have provided the hospital with a hundred percent of its plant pots. <laughs> that is, that is. <laughs> and also some quartz from our last live stream, and 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 a few things. Yes. Um, no, no, your 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 input has been graciously received. And and uh, yes, you, you you are probably one of the people who will be receiving a care basket upon opening day. I want a care basket. I want a care bear. Come on, I deserve <laughs> I'm not better sure than I that. I can manage that. There's certain limitations to Minecraft. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah, we need to talk to Mod about his. Uh, 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 ironically, we need to talk to Mod, to Mod about getting the mods in. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sure there is a care bear mod out there somewhere. 
True, but 1.8 apparently has been troublesome with mm, mods. It's a lot less mod friendly, mm. which is a shame. Because uh, we, we, we did have in mind some some amazing mods we wanted to play. Yes. To be honest, I'd, I'd quite like to play with something that I played with back in like beta, which was uh, the Stargate mod. That was, that was good. Yeah. Um, it, it basically meant, rather than portals to the nether, you build a portal, put a sign on it, and could basically create a transport network. Um, like, well, a sign with some specific text on it to, to like, you know, for coding yeah. mod or whatever. Yeah, there is and... a, sorry, I was going to say, there is actually something very similar to that, but it's in 1.6. Hmm. Um, and it that's most most of the reason why I'm not a miner in 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 this game, like why I, I do the whole I'm a doctor not a miner because um the way I used to do it on multiplayer servers with that mod was I'd go really far out, set up a portal, or, well set up a stargate, and so I could just instantly go from my home to there. Mm. Without ha having to traverse a long way or through the dangerous never or whatnot, um, because I, I I don't think many people have seen too much of my combat skills, but they're they're rather lacking. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter too much because with one point nine, we're all going to be reset back to being complete noobs when it comes to combat. Oh, is it all changing? I haven't yeah. really kept up to date with news of uh, yep such things. Oh. 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 One of the big changes in 1.9 is going to be they are adding a new combat, a new combat system. Okay. So I hope, you found that, I hope you found that fun. Because we're about to do it all again. Because we're about to do it all again. Oh, uh, if you have a spare torch, I know where the one I'm missing was. This corner right okay. here. Uh, hold on a sec, one sec. Uh... It's actually, yeah, there we, we'll just stick one down anyway. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we do it all again. Marvellous. Oh, I see you put a, a dirt block for ease of traversing. Yeah, um, I'm, what I'm going to do, this is going to go up a good 15 levels, so we'll basically be building a staircase there. Ah. Um, Fat Frog, yeah, 1.8 may have sorted out a lot of the code, but it did in such a way that the mod makers looked at it and said, nope, not doing that. So, while on paper it might have made things easier, in actual reality it made things far more annoying. Which is the re set... reason why there's 14 million mods for 1.7, but 12 for 1.8. And when you Sorry. say sorted out the code, it did nearly lose us this world. So, yes. I, I, I take that sorted out the code with a massive pinch of salt right there, yes. <laughs> personally. I'm not entirely certain that Mod has calmed down yet, to be totally honest with you, from that. And I can't say I blame him. I know. It, it, it like, the amount of work and... Oh, my God. I, like, Mod, Mod puts a lot into this. Um, and... Normally doesn't bring it up too much, or, or like actually tell us just how much work he, he puts in. Uh, but when when that happened, we found out just just how much because um, he went above and beyond uh, what he needed to to try and get this working. It was um, like for for example, he he was he was on his phone like while on his breaks at work, kind of thing attempting to do everything he could for this place um so not like i've got a lot of respect for him anyway because like i said he's been my friend for the past like decade or more but like seriously that 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 guy he he, he, might, he might not he might not sing about all that he does but like he, he he deserves credit for all that stuff he doesn't tell us about 
Yeah, that's absolutely true. First of all, too many fandoms. Um, check your subscriptions list because I posted a, 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 a something about Iris today. But you're absolutely right. I haven't played any, uh, posted anything for a long while, but that is going to change now. Um, secondly, no night melody. And night thirdly, melody. okay. I, uh, I yeah. I mean, I'm really glad that this world came back because yeah, we put some good effort in, and it was it was coming together nicely and all that. And but there is something that I will never forgive people for, most specifically Mike, <laughs> because when we started a new world, which is something that nobody ever saw, we we built this new world. We started to make you know, all the farms, and we 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 did the basics. And then I found a, a, a mushroom island biome. Oh yes, I remember. Okay, that. so I went over there with some with some uh, some corn, and I led two mushrooms back. It took me about four hours, and I don't know if you were on at the time, but I was a very very cranky person by the end of this. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised that people are still talking to me to be totally honest with you especially given the fact that within almost within sight of the village one of them died so the next day I went back and did this again to get another mooshroom here uh, uh, into the farm and then a day after that Mike fixed the problem yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm really glad that he did it, but damn it, Mike, couldn't you have timed that better? <laughs> Good Goodbye, person who's leaving. That I don't want to butcher the pronunciation of your name. Um, li I think Paul DeVordio has really given up hope on anyone ever pronouncing your name correctly. Yeah, because I, I was going to say, like, Livia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I think I actually to be honest with you, you need to make a, a video. Just put it up, you know, uh, and just tell us how to pronounce it, and then you you have every right to slap us silly if we get it wrong from then onwards. Um, do you have any tips for someone who wants to get into D and D for the first time? Good mm, question. Um, so I, I'll have to ask you a question then. Have Have you got a group of friends that are likewise wanting to get into D and D, or is it? Um... Or you want to find a group because that 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 was the most difficult part for me. That's mm. the reason I didn't start playing D and D until I was in college, because that's when I found a group of players, um, well, an already existing D and D group that I could join. So so the first the first part of it is fi find find a good a good lot of friends with a good imagination. Uh, be it ex people who've already got experience at D and D, or just just like find a lot of people that um, want to have some fun in fantasy worlds with you in their head. Yeah, um, I think yeah, um, I, I quite agree with that. I mean, with the, my my first D and D was I bought the bought the rule book off of um, a friend, and then had to find a group of people to play it with because you know I'd read it to death and played it by myself, and it's not nearly as fun. Um, there are groups, existing groups, that sometimes take on members. In fact, some of these groups can be quite large and meet up in halls and places like that. But the first thing you should do is just try to find some like-minded people in your area. Um, I don't know how old you are, Terminal Glow, so I, I can't say, you know, sort of look around your school or look around your work or something like that. Um, but... Um, yeah, just look around your social circle. You will probably find some people that are interested or at least D&D &D curious, which sounds kind of pervy. <laughs> uh, Indeed, quite. Uh, um, why do I have three torches in my inventory? That means I haven't been putting them down again. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. Getting to Shizzy's question. Uh, how many levels of sand are we going to put on this? Okay. The first three levels are going to be exactly the same as the first one, so we are, it's going to go up like that. Um, after that, the each level is going to get progressively smaller until we get up to. Uh, I think the top level is going to be about level about fifteen or so. It might be a little bit higher than that because I didn't think we were actually going to get more than a couple of levels done. Certainly, no way we we're going to get a third level done. I didn't bother looking at. Uh, looking up the details 
because it's basically put sand on top of wood and then put sand on top of sand at this point.